Taking the 12 and welcome to the video review of the Turnergy AccuCell 8150. This is a Hobby King charger or a Turnergy charger from Hobby King and it has loads of awesome specs. So let us take it out of the box. First thing we will do is take a look at what this kit actually comes with. So first thing is obviously, sorry, first thing is obviously here we have the charger here okay it's a very nice charger it's fairly heavy and it's got loads of lovely specs we'll have a look at those in a moment but before we have a look at the actual charger let's just take a quick look at what kind of cables this one comes with so first thing is here we have the connectors the XT60 connectors okay and we have different cables here we have the banana plug cables all right, they supply the main power, and then here we have the actual um, XT60 connectors that we can connect our um, batteries up to. We also have a very small connector here that can be used, for example, for the um, RC receiver packs, etc., etc. So we've got a nice little range of connectors there. We've got the this one and the XT60s as well. So a few versatile connectors but obviously at a later date you can always purchase um, some say XT60 to Dean's connectors if you want to use batteries that have Dean's connectors on instead of XT60. That's what we have with here we have the cables there and now let's get to this charger. There we go. So this is a very nice looking charger, it's the AccuCell 8140 and here we have loads of nice different specs. We're going to take a closer look at this one now. Um, first thing on the side here, we have got a USB, a mini USB connector. So you can actually connect this one to the computer if you like and there's some downloadable software and you can program this and update the um, firmware inside here update it okay here we have the main positive negative output connectors and here we have a temperature sensor so you can actually plug in an optional sensor to see what temperature this unit is running at that's a very nice feature to have and on this side we have loads of different connectors this can charge up to an eight cell lipo as you can see there these are all the discharge the balance ports as well okay balanced charging socket you can see it says here we can charge from a three cell lipo all the way up to an eight cell lipo you can of course charge a two cell lipo but the reason there's not a balance plug on here is because you don't actually really need to balance a 2s lipo too much okay so now let's take a look at the features on the front of this one we have a cooling fan here that is a very nice feature to have um, particularly with these LiPo um, chargers as well, it's very nice to have a cooling fan just to stop the unit from getting too toasty warm when it's charging your batteries. And then here we have the few specifications as well. You can see we can take input from 11 to 18 volts. This will charge 0.1 to 7 amps, okay, so we can do very slow charging if we want to, which is obviously much better for the battery, or we can do a bit of rapid charging we want to at 7 amps, I wouldn't really recommend charging at 7 amps, but the feature is there if you wish to use it. And then it's got a discharge rate, so if you're storing your lipos, you can discharge them and discharge at 0.1 amps to 5 amps. The max output is of this one is... 150 watts so it's quite a powerful balance charger slash discharger and then here we have the buttons and the um, details of what this one can charge you can see we can charge um, lipo lifey batteries nymine nicad or lead acid batteries as well so this is a very versatile charger can charge many different batteries as well so if you've got loads of batteries like I have with different connectors different voltages and etc etc then this is a very versatile and good charger for you so what I'm going to do now very quickly is power it up and we will have a go and charge your battery and 
have a look at the firmware and the operating system that this little so one now we've on. powered up the Turnigy Accucell 8150 and you can see we're greeted with this first screen saying LiPo charge 7 amps so that's just the base screen because obviously we've never charged anything before using this charger but it's very easy to use um, charger actually it's very simple to use and most of these chargers actually use this type of operating system so it's very easy you just got four buttons down here here we can scroll through the different um, types okay so for example if I press this one we can scroll through the different features so we've got lipo storage lipo discharge lipo charge or lipo balance and lipo fast charge so we've got five different um, options there to choose from five different features that we want to do if we want to change the battery type then we just press on battery type and then we can actually change from lipo battery to nimo battery to nicad battery or to the lead acid batteries there and we also have the chance to load the data or save data using the usb connectivity so for example let's choose a lipo battery i'm going to press enter now we're going to choose a lipo um, charge okay so i'm going to go here and now we have the option to set the amps that we charge at now in this example i'm going to charge a fairly small battery i'm going to charge the turnigy 1700 mAh 2S LiPo. So in this instance, I'm going to go to 1.7 amps. That is the way I always charge my batteries. So I'm going to go all the way down to 1.7 amps. 1.7, okay. And then here we can go down. If we go to um, here, we can go down all the way so we can see at the moment it's on 8s lipo 7s 6s 5s 4 3 2 and now we're going to charge a 2s 7.4 volt at 1.7 amps so let's just check before we start charging of course i'm just going to check that i've set the thing up correctly um it doesn't actually say but i know that this is a oh here we go we can see 7.4 volts Okay, 1700 mAh, so I'm going to charge at 1.7 amps. Okay, now, now what we need to do is simply choose our correct connectors and get this XT60 plugged in into the charger, and then we'll see. I'm going to okay. connect this one up now. Make sure you get these around the right way. But actually, because of the intelligent um, software and uh, firmware in here, that means that if you do plug something incorrectly, um, it won't short circuit. It will always stop charging. Say if I put the red one into the black or something silly like that, it would all it would never um, start charging. It would always detect this. Um, so that's very safe, especially with lipo batteries. You don't want a lipo fire. It's very dangerous. Um, so in this instance, it's very good if you have those kind of features. So what I'm going to do now is connect this one up. And as I said, if this was a 3S or bigger battery, then we would actually use the balance port. But this doesn't have a 2S balance port simply because you do not need to balance a 2S LiPo, really. You can just simply LiPo charge it. But if you are using bigger battery, then you should always balance the cells. So once it's all connected up, I'm just going to press and hold the start button. It says battery check, so you can see that it's actually now checking and agrees with what I think. So you can see this is what I said. I said it's a two cell battery and the system has detected that yes, it is a two cell battery. So now we need to do is press start to start the charging process. So there we go. Um, the cooling fan actually hasn't come on yet. I guess it will only come on when it gets to a certain temperature. And you can see we're now charging at 1.7 amps and if we go here normally you would actually be able to see the different cells and um, 
how it's doing, what the voltage is of each cell as well. So it's very good for bigger batteries. Here we have the time that it's been charging for, etc, etc. And you can see the current volts of the battery is just sat there. Okay, so I'm going to stop that one from that for now. And we'll go back to here. And this is the main screen you will see actually when you connect up your charger to the AccuCell 8150. So this is a very nice charger, it's very compact, it's very, I wouldn't say lightweight, but it's a very nice charger for the workshop. And also because of the connectors it has to the battery, you can always run it off, for example, a nice 12 volt car battery. These connectors would allow you to connect this one to a 12 volt car battery or any other power supply that ranges from 11 to 18 volts. So we have lots of flexibility, some nice connectors, and all for a very reasonable price from Hobby King. Okay, thank you very much for sending me this product for review. It didn't come from a hobby game, it came from my sponsor. If you want to know about those, then please drop me a message at jt12rchelp at aol.co.uk. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this charger review.